Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Let's keep it short. I try to see if I can finish a full colored mini artwork within an hour, starting with all steps of my normal process, a rough sketch, tracing and coloring. It was also a little practice session for me to get into coloring with Copics again, since the past month I didn't really make any serious coloration with markers. So I thought this might be a perfect opportunity to challenge myself again and, of course, to create a new video. Making a rough sketch and tracing it right after seems like a pretty bold step since one hour can be a pretty short time to finish something. But for me it was really important not to skip this step. I figured out that making rough sketches really helped to work out ideas without being afraid to ruin the paper with any pencil marks or to stop being afraid working out poses that are not easy to draw and just to work out ideas. If the paper you're sketching on is super cheap, for example I'm using copy paper for all of my sketches at the moment. so. If the paper is cheap, then you don't think so much about um, failing. Being afraid of creating because we could fail is an art blocker and sometimes the pretty white paper that was made for your wonderful creations can be frightening. I realized if I'm just using cheap paper instead of working directly on my coloring paper and using a sketching pen I really like, it helps me to relax and stop thinking about what could go wrong. Because if something goes wrong, I don't mind because it's a sketch and I can erase and try it again and again until there are so many pencil marks that I can't see anything anymore and then trace it to a clearer sketch and continue with the sketching madness again. The thing is the paper is so cheap you won't cry over it but you will benefit of working out sketches. So after a pretty short sketch, I traced it with a light pinkish polychroma from Faber-Castell for my lines instead of using a normal pigment liner or other black ink. The reason why I'm doing this is that the lines will look pretty soft after coloring and if I need to put in more contrast, I can still do that with other polychromos. I even feel like I'm faster with this. I often even get nervous if I'm doing black outlines. Like every time it's getting serious, I'm like, oh gosh, don't make any crooked lines and then I start to draw waves. So with normal black lines, there's no real turning back. But when I'm doing my line work with polychromos instead or with any other colored pencil, there's still a chance to erase some parts that will be barely visible later on. But in general I really like the soft look, especially when it comes to the coloring part. The paper I used for the coloring part is a normal sketch paper that is also listed in the description box down below. And the light pad I used is a pretty cheap one from the Action Store, but you can also find similar light pads on Amazon. I will put some inspiration for you in the description box as well. A one hour challenge to see how far I can manage to finish something from zero seems like a lot of pressure and of course it's kicking your butt to work very fast but it was still pretty helpful to make fast decisions and not wasting time on a big concept. That's why my drawing looks so simple. <laughs> and she has no hands. I wish I would have drawn hands. It looks a little bit strange that she has no hands. <laughs> However, I just took some of my favorite Copic colors and put them all together in this piece. I don't really like to call this a piece of art or something since I was just focused on the figure but not on a full piece with a background. A spoiler ahead, there's no background, but I had a lot of fun to try out some blending techniques, playing with shades and to just let 
this pretty ink flow and just see what happens. The full piece will be soon available for my patrons in the high resolution sketchbook PDF reward. If you like my art, please consider to support me on Patreon or at least check out my page. There's a lot of content that is Patreon exclusive but also with early access and a lot more rewards that are waiting for you. Patreon really helps me to fund these videos and help me to realize other projects, like for example my art books. If you rather like to get some prints and merch, make sure to check out my Etsy store, there's also a new discount code available. I will link it down below in the description box. This video was my first attempt on this challenge with all its flaws. I hope you still like it. At the end, I was even surprised to have three seconds left. <laughs> Not that I could have done more in these few seconds, but I didn't even expect to get this far with my coloration. Would you like to see more one hour challenges or even other kind of time challenges maybe with other art supplies? Please let me know in the comments what you think. And of course I want to challenge you to try this one hour challenge as well. If you like, you can show me your results on Instagram by using the hashtag HelloRambu. Of course, you can also tag me in your stories. I would love to see your results. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and like always, stay creative. Bye bye!